Hi, this is Joachim for statisticsglobe.com and in this video I will show you how to convert the values in a column into the row names of a data frame. In the video I'm going to show you an example and this example is based on the data frame that we can create with lines 4 and 5 of the code. So if you run these lines of code you will see that at the top right of our studio a new data frame appears. And we can also have a look at this data frame by clicking on the data frame and then you will see that our data frame consists of five rows and two columns whereby the row names of our data frame are ranging from one to five. So if we want to change these row names of the data frame then we can apply the row names function as you can see in line eight of the code and Within the row names function, we simply need to specify the name of our data frame and then we need to assign to these row names the values of our column x1. So if you run this whole line of code, our data is updated and we can also have a look at our updated data by clicking on the data object again. And then you will see that the new row names of our data frame are exactly the same as the values in our column x1. Yes, yeah, so in this video I have shown you how to change the row names of a data frame to the values of a column. However, in case you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on the homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail and I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video. I will also put the R programming code that I have shown in this video into the description of the video so you could copy paste it from there. And furthermore, if you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you leave me a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel in order to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new tutorials to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time.